see how these fish react. Oh, he's coming for it. He's coming for it. Giant, giant. Let's uh let's get these bags in the truck. There's barely any room, but perfect. Let's see what we have for you. Pile in. Oh yeah, this is great. I'm glad you got the bags. It just so happens that the day that these guys decided to fly in for our big fishing endeavor, they grounded all flights. FAA grounded every single flight. I was worried that this trip was going to be an absolute bust, but we're here now. We've made it. Today marks day number one of our big bass descent. No, it's a big old yappy. Dude, that thing is huge. <laughs> I know. Look how thick it is. Well, we're getting prepped up right now. I figured I'd show them our pet crappie, our BFC. Big fucking crappie, that's what it's named for. <laughs> <laughs> we start now. Three and a half hour send to the promised land, the land of giants. Can't think of anything else cliche to say other than we are going to a lake with big fish. We've got some serious PBs to break here. What's your personal best, Ryan? Just over six. So six pounds. Connor? 7.15. 7.15 and six pounds. We're going to where I can My 14, my 11, my two tenths. We can make it happen. We don't have these in Maine. Yeah, we have Alani's, but not this one. Yeah, because you're in Texas. It's way cooler down here. It is. Actually, I, just, I love it. I just Maine. told Caleb, I said, I hope Maine winters stay the way that they are because I'm going to buy a single and mobile home down here and do it. Live in, my, live in my barn. You could. I, it would be a win win because you could feed the crappie. <laughs> I'd have someone full-time being the prop. Hey boys, cheers boys. Cheers. To big bass, touching each other's ass. <laughs> Good memories. Join us as we head down three hours south to one of the meccas of bass fishing. We've got two PBs to break, lots of casts, some amazing food that we're gonna be cooking up for y'all. And just to sum it up, it's gonna be an absolute amazing time. Boys, we made it. We made it. We freaking made it. They're a little green around the gills right now. Something about how they're tired or something like that. There they are. Ding, 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 ding. How much we need to bet? Oh, oh <laughs> God. Yeah, that sounded great. <laughs> That's okay. That tracker's been through hell and back. That's okay. It's not their boat. What the f is up, boys? <laughs> Good to see you guys here. Stop eight times <laughs> to eat Whataburger. To talk about getting a battery, never getting a battery. Because <laughs> we got another battery. That's fine. This is Connor. How's it going? This oh, is Alex. Nice to meet you. Yeah, we met before. How you doing, yeah, Connor? Good. How are you? Nice to meet you, bro. Good to see you, Ryan. So is that Lane? Yeah. Good. How you doing? Good. Good. good to see you, man. Good to see it's been you. forever. Yeah. So what do you think, man? The no the notums going out this morning. You know what notums are? Notums. It's been conspiracizing <laughs> literally. <laughs> <laughs> What a just awful group of human beings who decided to come together and just absolutely terrorize this lake. Welcome to the stabbing cabin, the love shack, whatever you want to call it, this is going to be our place of dwelling for the next couple of days. We're here for about four days, four full days of fishing. We've got anglers coming in and out. Of course, Perrick and Grant came in just uh, right after us. They're going to be fishing off my old tracker. Rackley's been fishing here for the past couple of days, might fish tomorrow. Joining us as well, we've got Jerry, the camera guy. SB Fishing might also sneak down and, and hang with us and have a few drinks. We're going to be cooking, drinking, hopefully catching fish. We've got crazy wind tomorrow, which is it's not the best, but the day following, light and variable, perfect for fishing. And the two days following that, we've got a little bit of breeziness, but that's nice a little challenge. You know, it's, it's not supposed to be easy. We don't want it to be easy. It's got to be a challenge. This is where you and I had an absolute... Legendary experience. I've been talking about it in my videos. Bro. Really? Does yeah. it just give you chills? A year ago. I've, I've been around some of the same areas. Yeah. I was like, whoa. That's, that's where it happened. I got absolutely right. Every now and then. 
Every now and then when I get a little down, I'll watch them. <laughs> oh, wait, that actually is a good bait. It's a burrito. I see that. No, 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 no. You can't boom gang my swim bait, bro. Boom gang, whole lot of gang ish. I was showing you that, dog. I'm back here. Don't show Perry. They'd be like, oh, that's nice. I'm going to troll with that. So, what I do last time I was out here, and this is how I got to chase the falls, throw it over their heads. But make sure you've got a good foot above them. And literally, do just like if you have to you put your rod up here, just crank it and just keep it above their heads, and you'll get them to fall. Yeah, you don't like have a catch those yeah. pond small. Yep, yep, yep. Thirsty. Better. God, that is one ugly oh, look, fish. Look right jump, there. jump, bow to it, bow to it. Holy cow. Hey. <laughs> hey. What, what, what? what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do, Fact, he was the one who tried to attack me. Hey, hey, right, I'm done. Hey, 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 yeah, they're not in this. How are we doing with that patty? Is that Benny? Yeah, this is almost. so good. That's either in or venison. Oh, oh my god. Oh, oh, deer. Thank you, man, for cooking this separately hospitality right there. He's got, yeah, he's got burgers all set and ready to go as we pull off. I got Wagyu jerky in one hand and a Carnivore. freaking piece of wild meat in my right. That's pure diesel. That's pure diesel. I'm gonna be in my brain sauce tonight. They're still asleep. Catching up last night, we mixed it up till 2 a.m. Had a couple Beverodinos. It happens. It was our first night here in the great west of Texas, and slept in a little bit. That's what I'm trying to say. We slept in a little bit. That's my alarm. But what's good is there's bass in the lake that's two minutes down the road, and they're not going anywhere. We're gonna go to the marina, grab some breakfast. I'm gonna show these guys uh, what this lake's true potential is. There's a uh, couple mounts and some pictures of uh, the bass that have been caught here in OH, and it's gonna give these guys a perspective as to what this leg's all about. I also apologize for my freaking voice sounding like, <laughs> sounding like this. <laughs> Literally, this just happened on camera. I was talking to you perfectly fine 10 minutes ago. What the f 13, four. That's a 15. What's incredible? That's a four, 14. 14, four, 12, four. 16, dude. That's the, that was the yeah. previous leg record. 16, four. That's a 14. Look, look at the that. difference in some of them. Like, look yeah, look at that fish <clears throat> compared to this fish. That's your different strains. That's enough. 100% half yeah. one. Yeah. That is beautiful. Look at that one. 1706, 14, 16, 14, 14, 13, 13, 14. These are all legacy class share lunker fish, meaning they're over 13 pounds. They're at 13 pounds yeah. or over. And there is an absolute ton of them. And these are just the ones that have been documented. There's people who catch big fish. I and mean, we did not bring our 14. We caught that 1406. We didn't bring it, we just put it back. So there's a lot of big fish that just are not. Probably get filleted. Now, probably not for the best. <laughs> Maybe end up in a cooler somewhere, but. Yeah, well, I get to treat my meat. Yeah, I'm baking. I get to treat my meat. It is busy out here, as it should be this time of year. This is when this lake really seems to shine. It's gonna be blowing a cool freaking 25 in gusts upwards to 30 today. So we're gonna try to stay on the boat, not fall in, have ourselves an absolute day. This is it though. This is the moment we've been waiting for. We're on the water. 
big fish are beneath us. This lake holds 16, 17 pound bass, and these boys, hopefully this trip, are about to break their personal best. Yeah, let's get let's get a little, let's little get a little, little skin little in the game, boy. A little love going. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Let's go. As they say in Rome, let's get this big bass nut. Oh, those are pretty big waves. Gnarly. I've never been out here when it gets like this, bro. <laughs> nice, nice, nice and warm. Okay, uh, let's not do that. Let's go up a little bit. I really don't want to get wet like that, at least. This wind is something. I didn't realize it was going to be like this. This, this is quiet. Let's see how these fish react. Oh, he's coming for it. He's coming for it. Oh, I just had him. That was a big one. I just had him. All right, that's a good sign. That was a nice fish. He f***ing clocked it. Wow, interesting. Okay. Dude, that is literally That is a thing. That is what my 14 looked like. Well, just had a literal 12, 13 pounder just follow the jig in. Absolute Oh, there he is. We've got a giant fish on the screen right now. We've been following around for the past couple minutes. Connor's gonna get a smack at him. Go. Your bed off. Reel that up. Right, right, right where the water's pointed. Right there. Go. Perfect. Perfect. That right there is a 10 plus pounder. And there's Connor's jig going down. Down there, man. I'll just start reeling. What's going on there? How many tens, bro? Oh, we're not even casting to the tens. We're just looking for a teener. Yeah, we uh, we had a really big one, like a legit, like, like 11, 12, 13 pounder that we worked for like 10 minutes. Followed in, followed in the swim jig. Went to the boat, came back to its brush pile. We threw like a hundred things at it just kept falling it in going back to the brush pile and then like literally my first couple casts this morning i got absolutely on with the burrito uh but he didn't commit so now we're in the creek channel and we're just trying to like not get blown the away we're gonna keep cranking we're just gonna hope that the, cranking. the wind dies down a we little go, bit we might go snag a burger real quick then get back to it yeah <laughs> all right we'll catch a, catch a tank all right we're trying good luck good luck some new or some new old not a good day of fishing very rough like, we got it can't be worse how could it be worse we're not even made it back yet it oh it can't be worse yeah. you're right the deck is dry the net is dry my hands are dry pants i think they're a little wet i did fart pretty aggressively earlier no fish to show for it. we went monster hunting today and we could find him and not touch him. Let's get out of here. Do you want to tell them or do you want me to tell them? No, I'm going to bed. <laughs> For how long? Forever. Three weeks. One thing I caught was some windburn. Uh, what'd you catch? Windburn. Any, any nibbles for you either? Me as well. Do you get any, any nibbles on your on your line on your fishing line today? I thought so. I think we got one bite today. Um, we braved it. We roughed it out in 25 mile, sometimes 30 mile per hour winds. Quite literally, one of the windiest days I've fished in a long time. If we didn't have this big trip, I'd have been like, I'm staying inside and having a couple cold ones, which. Would probably been more productive, but we're out here looking for that big bite. Did we see a big fish today? We saw quite a few big fish. They were acting right. You know, I don't, I don't think Rackley caught any. 
Perrick and Grant are still out there. I don't know if they're fishing, <laughs> but they're still out there. <laughs> we didn't do a lot of catching, but it's good company. So yeah. Typical, I didn't f***ing catch combo there. Oh, but it was a good time! <laughs> Gee, thanks! Time to go kiss in the shower! <laughs> Where'd that even go? You just hit some guy throwing an A-rig in the next cut. <laughs> Sorry, Perrick. What's the ground here? What's the ground here? Oh, that was it. Ah, well, the time spent off the water, I have to admit, are a little bit better than the ones spent on the water, at least today. We're back at the old love shack. Upon planning this trip, I wanted to make this uh, this Texas Sun extra special and unique and give these boys the true feel of what it's like to be down here in central Tejas, Texas. And other than, you know, of course, not catching any fish today, one thing we can do is have a true Texas meal. We've got some cowboy cut ribeyes, mashed potatoes, Brussels sprouts, about to eat good. Yeah. Anyway, we're gonna whip up some meat, get some meat in the old Traeger. Literally brought a freaking Traeger for this trip. Went a little overboard, but you gotta. You gotta go all out, especially with the boys. And uh, although we lost Soldier today, Rackley departed back up to DFW. Jerry, the camera dude, is coming through and he's gonna hang with us. Have a few cold pops, eat some meat. Just have fun, kick it. Do it the Central Texas way. Wow, you get done, I'm a little tired. I'm a bit out of it. It's a good time though. Okay, so I'm gonna give you a quick tutorial on how you catch a wild John B. There's really only one lure that's gonna work. So this is actually the very best bait to catch him. Um, if he doesn't have it, then he goes insane. So let's, <laughs> let's walk it up. You gotta be super, super quiet. They're very skittish. Fat, ugly. <laughs> I keep it away, it keeps them interested. <laughs> How bad does he want that? Got her! <laughs> 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 oh, so that's exactly how you do it right there. Look at those beautiful beauties in there. Uh uh. No way, dude. Look at them freaking ribeyes, dude. Dinner served. Central Texas meal at its finest. Hey, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go Ste on. Steaks are ready. <laughs> He's like, oh, I'll wake up. <laughs> got some absolute amazing steaks that John got. Got some potatoes here. We've got some Brussels sprouts because everybody needs their greens. Absolute amazing spread. Even though we're not catching, we're definitely eating. Yeah, wow, boys. Oh, nice. This looks absolutely <laughs> ridiculous. Better can explain what the spread is. The whole objective of this trip is to make it about an experience not just about fishing. Is that when Grant's not. just screaming, talking? Hey, Jerry and Grant, can you guys have your conversation outside? We're trying to film a major motion picture over here. <laughs> yeah, dude, I met a blonde girl at the bar last week. This trip, you know, it's obviously all revolved around big bass, but one other thing that's revolved around, it's good times, good food, good moments. Get, let's get energized, ready to go for tomorrow. Or tomorrow, somehow, we have zero mile per hour winds. I don't know how it's possible after having literally 30 mile per hour gusts today, but that's just how Texas rolls. So we're gonna eat this up, have a good time, break some rods. We'll meet you guys in the morning. Good morning, audience. Welcome to another day on OHIV. Today's day is gonna be special because there's no way. If I don't see you coming into the Elm Creek Marina with a right up, very manhandled 15 pound fish and a shopping basket being weighed, I'm gonna be disappointed. I'm gonna feel like as if you let me down. Let this be known, if I do catch a 15, I'm immediately gonna clock it over the head with a bat. You said, you said, you said he's gonna, if he caught a 15 pounder, he's gonna skin mount it. No, <laughs> no such thing as a replica for AP Bass. Is, is that true? Am I kidding? Or we'll will I actually keep it? We'll have to see. <laughs> Stick along. Good morning, the Central. Of Texas. Bright and breezy. We've woken up much earlier than yesterday, mainly because we've got good conditions. We've got an amazing southwest Texas sunrise coming up through the hills, and it's 
looking fishy. I like the way it looks. Completely fat, calm. Total polar opposite than yesterday. Got to rig a couple of twigs, get some burritos, and be on our merry way. I think this is the day, though. I think this is the day we make it happen. Wake up, and I'm like, I'm freezing. What's going on? I go look at the thermostat. It's 54 degrees in it. 54 degrees in it. I'm like, the AC's on or something like that. Something's broken. I look around. The door's wide open. I'm out there sleeping on the couch, and it's just freezing cold. So I go up, and I'm like, not half, I'm like half awake, not fully awake. I turn the heat on, and uh, I melt you, but I warm myself up. So. I apologize. Dude, it was so hot. Good luck. See you out there. You going out there right now? Going out there right now. Are any beers involved? I wasn't allowed to. It's like, it's going down in the DMs, I'm pretty sure. Today, at least we're going to be able to stay on a spot for more than two seconds. Completely different conditions today. 25 to 30 mile per hour winds yesterday, but today, zero, zero mile per hour winds. Light and variable is what the weatherman's calling for today, and I think he might actually be right this time. This is really our big opportunity. Like if we're gonna have a good shot of, of like finding a, a fish and staying on the spot, today's gonna be the day. Join us as we head towards the lake and get one step closer to catching that double D. How does it feel to be the only person to catch a fish on OH Ivy? I think so. Yeah, you definitely are. I caught two others too. No way, what They're are you doing? Okay, okay. I'm just beating the bank like a loser. We might have Basically. to we might have to get on your level here in a little bit. But it's slowed down completely. After that five, I've just been donating lures to the lake. Are you seeing a lot of fish or no? There there's there's a good amount of fish up shallow for sure. Up shallow. Like on those little rock drops like in there. Yeah. I haven't seen much honestly. Yeah. I haven't seen much. I was telling them like everywhere I've been, I've seen fish last year and of course this year's nothing. Yeah. There's probably still a lot up shallow. Okay. We might have to go shallower, honestly. We might have to. Alright, well good luck man. I'll I'll holler at you to figure something out. Alright. Really? We didn't even ask Jerry what he caught those ones on. No. Nope. Smart. How you doing? Okay, bye. Yeah. Yeah, I've caught three. All right, see ya. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just continue to go f ourselves. Yeah. How does there we go. Not time. Finally a fish. Finally a fish. Do you see the fish over there, Connie? Do you see any fish over there? No? Little, maybe that size, but yeah, little, little guys. Wow. I can't believe it, but this is our first fish of the trip, and it's day number two, and it's an absolute squeak, but I'm not going to complain. A bass is a bass, and Perrick and I still have a deal going for biggest fish. One's $1,000. We have to weigh that. And they haven't caught anything. Yeah, we actually have to weigh this, because this could be... <laughs> the sad thing is, is we are <laughs> where I've caught a almost 50-pound bag in the past, and this might be... This is literally the biggest fish of the trip. Just a little tiny squeak. Absolute giant. We're gonna weigh him though. Screw it. 147. <laughs> yeah, the boat's over there. Like, why the hell is I can weigh in one pounder? 147. The weights on my scale from this previous year 1057, 910, 1011, 113, 606, 72, 106, 1406. I just got a one pounder. Look at Perry. Look at his stance. <laughs> Got the graph all the way to nine feet. There's a battery in the back. Grant's hooked up. Is that your binkle? Snap it off. It's a challenge. Any fish? We had. I had a few this morning come up and follow me at least. Did you catch? Looks like I'm getting that grand so far. Oh, what'd you get? <laughs> ah! <laughs> no, just kidding. <laughs> 147 is what he got to be. You caught one? <laughs> I caught a 147. A 147? Yeah. Uh, jerk bait. Yeah. It's a good sign, though. Fish? Crappie? You finally caught one, though. Yeah. We're going in the, are we going in to weigh that one? Um, came from uh, Bangor, Maine. 
Texas to catch these giants. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm just giving you a hard time. Oh, Nothing wrong with that. Can't complain. Can't complain. At least, at least. That's uh, what? How many hours of fishing? Uh, like 48. I think we should stop counting though. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I like the root beer. I could go for a cold glass of root beer right now. Fish? Fish. That is it. That is a bass. You brought one up with you too. Nice. Absolute giant! It's the end of the day. This is the witching hour. We gotta make it count. Look at a little mark on him. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. We're gonna bring this fish into the weigh-in station. So cold. Yeah, it's probably really cold down there. I'm sure the people, I think the people understand too. It's not all about fishing sometimes. And that is a quote from an angler who absolutely sucks at fishing. It's all about the experience. Well, Ryan, Ryan put it perfectly. What did you say? You feel emotionally defeated? You feel emotionally you, and physically defeated. You feel emotionally, 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 emotionally. I am emotional damage spiritually. Sun setting. Things aren't looking good for us. I think uh, I think that's it. Day number two. Just like Dan Rowan, an absolute wash. We fish deep, like deep, deep. Fish like medium deep, and we fished pretty shallow today. Literally caught three fish. Um, it's not good, and I think the boys are having issues too. Their trolling motor blew up or something like that. I say their trolling motor, it's my trolling motor on my boat. So now I've got uh, two broken trolling motors, and uh, I've caught one bass. Yeah, Jerry did catch a five pounder. Jerry caught a nice five pounder. He's much better at fishing than I am, and uh, he, he did pretty good, I think. So we're gonna go back in, cook up some food. We'll see how the rest of the cruise day was, but for us, it was another just <sighs> wiener grinder. Absolute wiener grinder. Cannot believe I actually caught big fish in this lake. It doesn't even seem real. That's good to know. Whipping up in the kitchen. That's one thing I can do fairly well. I may not be able to catch fish, but at least I can cook some food for the boys. Try to keep everything Texas theme this trip. So last night we did cowboy cut ribeyes, so good, so amazing. And tonight we're doing carne asada, and also some uh, we're doing chicken fajitas, ranch waters. It's gonna be a movie. We're gonna have a few drinks to come up with uh, tomorrow's game plan. Do we stay here or do we go to a tiny lake up north? I don't know. Gotta figure it out. Peric once said, Arby's, we are the meats. Yeah, same, same with mine. We're cooking up some guacamole. Tonight is Mexican night here in the uh, OHIV house. We've been trying to catch some fish to eat, but it's obviously impossible to do that, so. We're lucky we have avocados, tomatoes, onions, throw some jalapenos in there. It's gonna be good. Working the rest, mixing the guac. That looks good. How's the guac? It's good. It's fire. <laughs> <laughs> it is quite literally in the day. It's like really good. It's not fire. Everyone's going around like, hey man, how can I help? How can I help? And Merrick's like, Make the, great, you make the guac. He's like, I don't know how to make guac. Is it good, bro? I don't know how to eat guac. Yeah, you do. <laughs> There's not much Grant knows how to do. He's very useless in life. You know, though. He's not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing taco night with the boys. I'm on ranch water duty. What a ranch water is, get yourself Topo Chico. Costco's got the big ones. I like Costco. They've got a 16.9 ounces. So you empty out a little bit of the um, sparkling water, or you can drink it. Obviously, recommend drinking it. And uh, you take your hernitos or your favorite Blanco tequila, throw it in there. Wow, that looks good. So first, it's obviously sparkling water, lime or tequila, a little bit of lime juice. Actually, like a, a good bit until it turns pretty much the whole drink into that color. See, that's perfect. You want too much, but not too little. Next step, get you a lime. Hit the edge with it a little bit. Give it that aromatic lime citrus flavor. You don't have to use tahini, I like tahini, I like a little spice. Hit the edges with it a little bit. That lime juice on the rim will make that tahini stick. So every sip, you get a nice little spice, a little kick to it. 
Bada bing, bada boom. That's how you make a ranch water. Here you go, Perry. Oh, he's busy. Somebody, uh, somebody try this. Matt? But you used to mix drinks, right? Yeah. Definitely not as good as you over here. Ah, uh, well, you know. Going in. I suck at fishing. I bet I could suck at making a drink. <laughs> Matt, uh, you're from the Great East. Came all the way down, right? Is that considered East? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Came from East. He's been actually fishing down here for a couple days before we even came to OH, and he's also looking for the one, the biggest bass, <laughs> yeah. like the biggest bass in Texas, as are we. So he was in the neck of the woods. Something roll down, get some tacos, get some ranchies, but buddy, cheers. Might be a little top heavy on Very the tequila. Good. You like Very it? Very good. Yeah. 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 It's yeah, yeah. awesome. Not approved. And you used to mix drinks, right? I did. Yeah. So that's. All right, I'm humble. I'm humble. <laughs> All right, let's eat some tacos, drink some ranchies, and wind down for the night. There we go. There's a fish.